So if you struggle with digital eye strain, then it could be because your eyes are light sensitive and your computer screen is too bright. So switching your computer into dark mode might be able to help you out. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to enable dark mode for Windows 10 and I'll show you how to activate dark mode for Google Chrome's dark mode. That way, all the different applications and everything in the computer should be working together. Plus, stay tuned toward the end because I'll throw in two extra cool computer hacks that can help with eye strain as well. So let's get into it. Now, when it comes to enabling dark mode on Windows 10, you're going to go to the home screen. You'll right click. It'll open up a few options. At the bottom, it'll say personalize. You'll click that, it'll open up a settings screen. And on the far left, you'll see backgrounds, colors, lock screen, a few other options. You wanna select colors. Under colors, it'll say choose your color. It should automatically be set to light mode for most people. But if you click the little arrow, it'll open to custom and dark. Select dark and you'll see it start to switch automatically at the bottom. And then the background should turn a nice dark inverting the contrast and that should automatically just make it feel a little bit more comfortable for your eyes. Now from here, if you open up Chrome, if you're a Chrome user like myself, the natural Google page should automatically start to detect that your system, your operating system of Windows 10 has switched to dark mode. So thankfully they've updated Google Chrome to automatically adjust itself. And that even includes for other Google services, including YouTube. So that means YouTube search bar or search page should be a nice darker color as well. Now, if it doesn't do this automatically for you on YouTube, you can click your sign in page up here to the top who you are, and it'll give you a few options and you can just easily see appearance. Now I have it selected to device theme, so it automatically knows by Windows 10 being in dark mode that it switches over, but you can switch it specifically to dark theme if you wish, or back to a light theme if, again, that's just you want that to be on your YouTube page. Otherwise, I personally, again, I like dark theme, so I'm going to use my device's theme so it'll switch with it. But for some people, if you do still struggle with uh, getting this to switch over and you're not sure why, you can also download a custom theme for using Google Chrome. And you can do that by going up to the three dotted spots up here in the top right. Click that and you'll go all the way down to settings. In settings, you can scroll down to appearance or you can use the bar to the left. And on appearance, you can see theme. And if you click on theme, it'll open up the Chrome web store, which thankfully these are all free. And you can go to published by Chrome. They do have a just black setting. Myself personally, way down here at the bottom, there's another section called dark and black themes. And there's a whole bunch to choose from. I personally have liked one, Morphean Dark. That's the one that I've used myself. It has about 9,000 people who've reviewed it. So it seems really good. But then you just click that. You can enable that in your in your actual settings and now you have a whole other setting for dark mode and you can see it's even darker than before. Now there's two other quick helpful things for eye strain that I also want to show you. First is night light. So to turn on night light mode, which is a mode that changes the amount of blue light that comes from your screen, you can right click anywhere on the home page, go to display settings this time. On display settings, you'll see brightness and color. You'll see the different monitors if you have multiple like I do. Then you'll have night light and you can just hit that button and it'll turn it on. Now, night light mode, again, you could see the screen turn a more of a fainted yellow color. Now you can go to night light settings and you can even adjust this. You can have the strength to zero, which really does nothing. And you can crank it all the way to 100 where the screen basically turns orange. I myself like to set it around the 60 mark. I find that pretty comfortable. And you can even adjust what time of the day that'll turn on for you. I have it set on to just switch over to at sunset uh, and then it turns off at sunrise. And studies have shown that blue light apps like this do help with reducing the melatonin suppression effect caused by blue light and your sleep cycle. And the final cool thing I wanted to show you is where you can invert the colors on windows. This is something that usually I don't use very much. However, for some of my patients who have low vision, this can be very helpful. And it's just kind of a cool thing to know. Now you can activate inverted contrast mode, even on pages like the Google search page, where it usually still remains white. You can activate it by pressing the Windows key 
as well as the plus sign at the same time. And then I'll activate the magnifier mode, which is kind of cool itself. I mean, if you really need to zoom in close on something, you can do that. But then when that is open, you can hit the Alt and Control buttons with I at the same time. And boom, the screen completely inverts everything to what was white is now black, what was blue is now yellow, and it does look a little funny sometimes because you can see pictures, uh, everything again is inverted, kind of like an infrared mode almost. But this is something that can be useful for people with really poor low vision, and this can be helpful in those certain situations. It also can be just something that's kind of fun to play around with. But then to shut it off, it's just the same thing in reverse. You hold Control, Alt, and I to shut that off, and then you can just close out of the magnifier. So hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or any tips of your own for helping with eye strain on the computer screen, switching to dark mode, things like that, go ahead and drop them in the comment section section below. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, again, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.